now that the Chanel Meets Ida collection has been out for a little while, what did you guys think of it? Did you love the pieces? Did you get anything? Or were you just like, meh? Hello, my name is Amy, and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I wasn't so sure whether I should do this video because it's already been a while, but I still get requested on my thoughts on the current collection. Is it my favorite? No. Is it nice? Yes. Did I want anything from the actual collection? No, not for myself, but I'm still gonna talk about my favorite pieces, chit chat about the collection and just my thought process in general. Now, if we just rewind back, these are the pieces that I got from last year and I thought that last year's collection is absolutely stunning. Now, when it first came out, everyone was kind of like, meh, I don't like it, I don't like the gold, it's so gaudy. But I don't know, after it came out and after a little while, everyone just sort of warmed up to it. So I feel like the current collection could be a similar story. Let's look at their bags first because I'm sure we're all very much most interested in handbags. The rainbow tie-dye handbag from this season, their reissue in metallic goat skin, it is absolutely stunning. Look at this beautiful pattern and of course it does come in the medium size such as this one and the mini size. The medium size is exorbitantly expensive but it is such a beautiful handbag. If anything I would have purchased this one of this season if I was after any items from this current season because this is definitely one of the most unique one. I like that the pattern on each bag is slightly different depending on where they cut on the fabric and also this current season they do have this metallic crumpled calfskin in this beautiful champagne gold color. I did also like it very much, especially in the mini size and also this particular calfskin in gold color is also offered in the cocoa handle. The current price for the medium is 8,650 Canadian dollars plus sales tax which is insanely expensive. We're talking about close to $10,000 for a medium size and even the mini size of the same bag is $5,000 now in Canada. It is insane. All right this velvet bag mini size bag is really cute i think i like the idea of a velvet and also the coco crush embellished in crystals it's really pretty however for a fabric bag it is very expensive unless you're going after a specific velvet bag from chanel and you like the little embellished details from this current season i would just pass this shopping tote is quite interesting and it is a decently priced item for chanel it is in shiny distress patent calfskin it also reminds me of a vintage design which i do like and it does look comfortable. It does look like there is a bit of give. It's not as structured as the timeless shopping tote, which I kind of like. It reminds me more of a cross between a Deauville tote and a Neverfull tote, which is quite nice. I do like that. Don't really like the tweed. These little handbags, which is made of a kiss lock in the front as the opening, and it has a little Mona Lisa pocket and it's lined in leather. It's really, really interesting, but these are really, really tiny. Look at the dimensions. These are definitely novelty bags. So unless you're after this particular design, then I would also skip it, but it is a really, really interesting little design that they have from this runway this is the larger size which i don't like but it is more practical however look at the price it is insane i don't know if i would spend that much money on a seasonal runway piece now these boxes of minis are all the rage this season it is an interesting concept but keep in mind that you're really buying it for the hype and also for the box i guess a lot of people love this leather box it looks exquisite these little bags however are the size of a glorified card holder it pretty much just kind of fits your card holders inside these little bags so I really think that most people buy these as collector's piece. I do love it, but I personally would never really spend that kind of money on items like these. 
Moving on here, we see another shopping tote. It is slightly more structured looking than the previous one, but less distress. Nevertheless, still really, really pretty. I like the idea of it a lot, especially because it does remind me of the Deauville. If you compare it to this one, this one does have a piece of leather break on the shoulder straps, so it does look more comfortable. I also like the quilting detail on the bottom, and there's a different kinds of hardware, which looks more interesting to me. Price-wise, they are very similar. This one just looks a little bit more plain, so it is a personal taste. Did I not tell you about the small round clutch with chain? It is $4,000 now. How insane. This one does appear a little bit bigger, so it should be more functional. It is 17 centimeters across. I think this would fit a smaller size phone, not the max. And I do think that this will fit the card holder and the key holder a lot more readily. So it is a lot more practical. I do like the novelty round shape of it. Personally, I wouldn't be spending $4,000 on a novelty item. I think I would cap it at maybe $2,000. Moving on, there are these bucket bags from the current season. Let's take a look at this mini size one. It is quite small. If you look at the dimensions, you will definitely be able to put your phone in it, but it might stake out a little bit because the height of it is only 70 centimeters. I do like the design, very simple, timeless CC stitching. They went more sort of vintage and old school. They went with the leather fastening, but I do like the little gold details here. It's really, really cute. Aged calfskin, a good price. This is the larger size. Of course, it will be a lot more practical space-wise, but I kind of like the look of the mini one a lot better. Maybe because I do like mini bags a lot more, but the price point of this, given the actual size, is not bad. However, for a larger bucket bag, I much prefer having a little top handle for hand carry as well, which is missing on this one. Here's another bucket bag. This is much more closer to what I like in terms of feature. I like the lovely sort of bijou chain detail for the fastening, for the drawstring part. I like that there is a shoulder break on the shoulder strap. And I also like that there is this beautiful top handle. It just makes it a lot more user-friendly. And I like the shiny lambskin. It does look very nice. And I love that the bottom does have the CC. Moving along, I saw that Oksana, hi babe, if you're watching, I think she bought this handbag, but in caviar. So apparently this handbag exists in both caviar and in shiny lambskin. And there are some elements of the Chanel 19 to this bag. Obviously, they are a little bit different. This one is a seasonal bag. The Chanel 19 is a permanent style. But I do like it a lot. It's very interesting and it looks very practical. I love the large pocket in the back. I love the top handle, vintage gold detail. And I actually really like the look of the shiny lambskin on this one. The cuckoo handle that looks the most interesting this current season is the lilac caviar color. It is an absolutely stunning color, which they don't have online. I will show you guys the one that I'm talking about later on on Instagram pictures. This one looks really interesting with the sequence and the tweed, but yeah, definitely a more delicate fabric. If I were to repurchase the Deauville, I would probably go for this size. I just wish that for this size as well, that they would have a top handle as well. It would just be a game changer for this bag. The price point is also reasonable for a Chanel bag. And taking a look at their other Deauville in this really shiny sequence material, it looks amazing, but is it that practical? I'm not sure. And also, I don't really want to pay over $6,000 for a fabric bag. Moving along, of course, the Chanel 19 is still really popular, really hot. This hot pink color is quite interesting. Personally, love it in black. So on the screen right now, we have the black one in goat skin. It looks amazing. I just love the black against the gold. So I want to move on to small leather goods just to take a look at what's interesting this current season. Judging from the website, there are a few cute pieces. This one in particular I saw 
Cassie had purchased it. It was very, very cute. One of those novelty items. It looks like they have a lot of clutch with chains, which are really cute. All really novelty size. Does not fit a phone. Uh, some of them have the Coco Crush embellished in crystal. Really cute. These Coco Crush chains, by the way, are adjustable. So that's really cool about them. Lipstick case for $1,400, anyone? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, clutch with chain. This is the trendy CC one. It did go up in price quite a bit. Really, really cute. My friend Gina is loving hers still. Last year with all the heavy gold embossing, uh, it's just so stunning. It's just visually stunning last year. Whereas this year, there's a bit of sequins, a bit of tweed here and there, shearling. But I really do like the reissue line from this year in the tie-dye rainbow as well as even the champagne gold. I do like these a lot. I just personally don't need to add any more reissue, which is why I am not adding any of these pieces or which is also why I did not actively go after them. The trend that I've noticed for costume jewelry is that they are getting extremely, extremely expensive. This piece here is really interesting. My friend Clara just got hers, but I believe that hers, the chain is slightly different. Although this one does look really cool with the intertwined leather chain as well. Really, really cool necklace. I like the charm a lot. Chokers are also all the rage now. I like chokers, but I don't know if I'll spend that kind of money on a choker because they're not comfortable, to be honest. Moving along, this bracelet is really beautiful, actually. All pearls, really, really pretty. I won't buy it myself, but it is really pretty. I am very attracted to it. The pieces that I think has been the most popular this season are these earrings. They are so stunning. They are large, dangly CCs, and they are just beautiful i mean they're simple and the price compared to everything else that you see on their current collection is just the most reasonable however i do want to point out that the posts on some of chanel's earrings are tapered what i mean by tapered is if you look at the pin it starts from here which is the slimmest and then it tapers to the thickest part closest to where your ear lobes would be situated which is an uncomfortable fit for me so i do want to point that out this choker necklace however is so so stunning that i might also myself make an exception at buying this one my friend clara had just purchased this one hi babe it is beautiful so amazing looking and lucky for me they did not have it in store so i don't have to think about it again this choker looks really cute kind of victorian style but very expensive love dangly earrings these ones are quite interesting because they are asymmetrical if i really wanted to add more pearls i would consider these ones now, i don't own any shoes from chanel and i probably will never own any because they are not comfortable for me but i really love the look of these they have this signature chanel look from the front from the rounded point toe but i also like how they chotched it up a little bit with the bow in the front just looks really cute to me i don't know why i'm so attracted to it and especially in the gold color these sandals in the rainbow color also looks amazing love there's a little bit of heel on this one not just completely flat and I love wearing sandals. They're my favorite type of shoes. No socks. The more I can be close to barefoot, that's my preference. Really like the heel detail here on this one. It does look really, really stunning. Classic pair of almond toe heels from Chanel with a heel detail with gold accent. We also got some questions on our luxury live show where some of you asked us whether these boots were worth the money they are absolutely stunning now that i'm looking at them if these are the same ones that was referred to us they are absolutely stunning i think if you are a boot wearer or if you wear a lot of boots and you can get more cost per wear for them go for them not all items are featured on the chanel website so now i'm gonna move on to instagram and let's take a look at one of the personal shopper that i follow chanel 19 bags this one that has the ribbon running across which is really pretty similar to my houndstooth one they also came back with the 
dark blue tweed some colorful tweed that we're gonna skip through a little faster they also have the goat skin in the dark pink black navy and they also have some colorful rainbow tweed this is the cream color so it looks like the previous one was the white color of shearling they have these mini vanity or mini clutch on chain items in velvet so definitely velvet coco crush and crystals tweed is all part of the theme so often what i'll do is i'll type chanel 20a and so you can see on this hashtag there's over 2000 posts on it obviously at the beginning you're not going to see very much but once the collection releases in different parts of the world and more people will start posting about it such as this one you can see the those mini little bags in action as you can see they are very tiny it's the size of your hand it's literally a glorified card holder or a super tiny nano bag basically we've got the coco handle of this current season they actually came out in quite a few colors and one of them is the lilac and one of them is pink and one of them is beige this is definitely a way that i browse the latest collection a lot of times especially when it's not available in my country yet in canada we often get things a little later here's the lilac color trendy cc very very pretty i wanted the black one myself but if i was after another color the lilac would have been such a perfect candidate Here's a pair of earrings that's coming up in the fall. It's not in the current collection. I believe this is in 20B. Here's a look at one of the minis in the rainbow. As you can see, all the patterns are different on each of them. This is just one of them. They are very nice. So you see this one has the tie-dye more uh, distributed on the flap very very pretty if you're into this kind of look i feel like if you do dress up more on the light color spectrum or if you just like it then go ahead and get it because from what i hear in person it's absolutely stunning this coco handle in the gold color didn't i tell you how pretty it is very neutral definitely could wear with a lot of whites and blacks and denims just stunning uh, versus a pink for me it doesn't work as well looking at my current collection did i really need these pieces the answer is no although i did wish that i did get those big earrings but they were not available in my store and the only store that had them was from toronto i couldn't get a hold of them unfortunately so that was that did you end up getting anything from this current collection let me know down below thank you all so much for watching if you're brand new here i would love to have you back so please consider subscribing. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys very soon.